So guys, today what I'm going to be doing is propagating some cuttings that I have taken. I have a number of cuttings here that I'll show you in just a second. But I'm going to try this Ziploc bag method. So I've got my gallon size Ziploc bag here. I've got my soil. I need a spray bottle. Hold on. Hey, what's up guys? It's Jess. Welcome back to another video. So if you're new here, I do plant videos, home decor, and DIY. So if that's something that you're into, hit the subscribe button down below and I'd love to have you join my family here. So today I'm just going to be propagating some cuttings that I've taken. I have tried rooting them in water and it's just taking way too long. So I did watch a video. I'll link her name down in the description box. So I don't remember it right now, but I did watch her video and I'm going to try her Ziploc bag method. So I've got my gallon size Ziploc baggie here. I've got, of course, my potting soil all mixed up. I have my spray bottle and then my cutting. So for my cuttings, first and foremost, I have this sad little cutting here, y'all. I unboxed this for you guys, I wanna say back in January or February, and this is my Scandathsis treubii. And y'all, this has not done anything it did have a leaf if y'all remember it came half black so I wrote her she did send me a replacement cutting um, but she did say to keep this one in water because it may root and I think it is trying to put out a root but I'm going to try it and put it in soil today see if that does anything this is the replacement cutting that she sent me I've had this sitting in water almost two months and it is just now as of yesterday starting to put out a little no, I don't know if y'all can see that there. But yeah, I'm gonna try and get this to root a little bit faster. And then I have three cuttings here sitting in water that I took from some plants at my job. These are two different kinds of Hoyas. So I have this two of this one here. I think this is the Hoya Publicalix if I'm not mistaken, if I'm wrong, y'all, please correct me in the comments down below. And then I also have a cutting. This one is actually kind of like a mixture, but I think this is supposed to be another Hoya Crimson Princess, similar to the one that I just hauled. I know, y'all, I said it was a Hoya Crimson Queen, but it's actually a princess that I just hauled in my plant haul. But yeah, I took another one. This one actually is mixed with solid leaves and... The variegation so that's kind of interesting i'm going to try and propagate all three of these in the ziploc bag today so let's go ahead and i'm just going to go ahead and put the soil in the bag first got my soil mixed up here you know i keep it in this five gallon paint bucket i got from lowe's and the soil i used y'all i'll have it linked in the descri the description box down below but this is just a mixture of organic potting soil mix perlite, orchid bark, and then I also tossed in a little bit of biotone in here just because that is um, a good fertilizer that helps stimulate the root system on plants. So I do have a little bit of that in here. I'm just gonna toss a little bit down in the bottom of this bag. Let's see, I want it to be kind of thick, so. One more scoop. So this is a very well draining mix. It's nice and airy. Okay, so I've got my soil in the bag here. I'm going to go ahead and she did say to wet the soil first. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got my soil nice and moist. She did say to put enough in there so that it's not stopping wet but also not too dry. So I think I have enough moisture in the soil here. Next, I'm going to do, let me do my skimdapsis cutting here. Y'all can see that. So it's not focusing on anything else. This is what it's looking like so far. Y'all, I cannot believe I've had this in water for two months and it hasn't done not a single thing for me. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just sticking the cutting down in the dirt. 
and covering that. Okay, I think that should be good. Next, I'm going to do this Hoya Pula Calyx. I did rip off, not rip, but I pruned off the bottom leaf here so that I could have two nodes from, this is where I'm actually expecting the roots to come out of. So I have a nice stem on that. I'm gonna stick that one down in here as well. Y'all, I might need to, let me put a little bit more soil in here. This end here it does have just one node, and then I did the four to five degree angle cut on the stem here. So this is the end that will grow my roots, hopefully. Put this one down in the soil. And then my last foot of cutting here, same thing. I did prune off the bottom leaf, so I have a node here, and then hopefully roots will come out of the bottom stem. Wow, this, I might need a bigger bag <laughs> for this. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing, I'm sorry. But I will show you once I'm done. And then lastly, I'm just gonna stick the whole thing in dirt and see what happens with this. Let's get that in there, okay. So here's what the propagation bag is looking like so far, I've got the stems down into the dirt. Next, she says to mist the bag nicely. So I've got my spray bottle here. I'm just going to mist the cuttings just so I have enough condensation in the bag to create a little terrarium environment for them. Okay, so I think I've put enough. I'm going to go ahead and Zip it up, and then she said to blow the bag up with air with your breath. Let me go clean my hands first. Okay, you guys, so this is what the bag is looking like now. I have blown it up, sealed it nice and tight. I'll give you a nice 360. So here's the front. And then here is what the back is looking like. Or maybe this is the back and this is the front. Not sure, either one. So yeah, what I'm going to do now is I am going to go set this in my south facing window. You definitely wanna place your bag somewhere nice and warm and somewhere that is brightly lit so that your cuttings can start to root as fast as possible. I probably will check on this in the next four to five days or so. She did say to check once the condensation is gone from the bag open the bag back up just to let some fresh air back in there, mist your plants again, blow it up, and then seal it back. So yeah, I will give you all an update on how these cuttings are doing. I'll prob probably come back and do another video. But yeah, I'm hopeful that this will work, you guys. This is my first attempt at this, but I'm, I'm hoping this will work good for me. So yeah, I will link BB, her name's BB, I remember now. I'll link BB's video down below in the description box. Y'all go check her video out as well. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more. And as always, thank y'all so much for watching. I'll catch y'all in the next one. Peace.